I'm standing in the village of Hatton Chotel on Rue Miss Skinner. The reason it's named Belle Skinner is that she was a, a wealthy socialite from Holyoke, Massachusetts, who took to heart this village that had been destroyed by the Germans. She was a graduate of Vassar College, in fact, was the class president. Her family was owned a, uh, a textile company uh, with their name of Skinner. And she had a passion for France. She came over here before the war, during the war, and then came back in 1919. And that's when she discovered this village and that was destroyed. She decided that she needed to help out. She raised money, gave some of her own money, including clothes to the citizens who had to move back here after the war in a decimated uh, conditions, but she helped rebuild the uh, village, including the school that I'm standing in front of right now. Plus, she set up a uh, wash basin in town so the citizens could, could clean their clothes. Walking out into the courtyard, you get a magnificent view of the whole Samiel region, or the Samiel salient as it was known during the war. Directly in front of me is the Monsec Monument. We are west of the monument but the monument was placed by the American Battle Monuments Commission to commemorate the activities of the Americans who liberated this village and many others like it beginning on September 12th of 1918. As the Americans headed in this direction, they liberated villages one by one as the Germans fled. Eventually the 26th Division, the New Englanders, reached Hatton Chateau where the Germans had left, but they were still fighting in and around the village. Much of it left totally in ruins, including the school that I'm standing in, that Miss Skinner would spend her own money to rededicate and rebuild after the war.